We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest, Dr. Khaled Hussein, former Minister of Higher Education. Dr. Khaled, good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Hussein Khaled. <laughs> apologies, Dr. Okay. Hussein. Apologies. Dr. Hussein Khaled, of course, former Minister of Higher Education. Now, let me start by asking you, Dr. Hussein, the Egyptian universities have now entered international classifications and graded into distinct locations uh, in these classifications. What steps have been taken by the ministry in this regard, specifically the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research, to qualify uh, the Egyptian universities for international classifications? Uh, of course, these, and, uh, these efforts Yes. Uh, started very early in the year in the year 2008 yes. uh, by uh, Cairo University, uh, where we were first time ranked mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the uh, 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 top 500 universities in the area of uh, 400 to 500. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, w uh, with the year, uh, there are other universities that uh, entered into this ranking. And now we have eight universities. Uh, the efforts done by the Ministry of Higher Education and uh, Research, as well as the, uh, the individual universities, are marvelous mm -hmm. and uh, are pushing uh, forward. And I hope that uh, one of our universities will uh, be among the top, 10, uh, top 100 universities, especially in Shanghai ranking. Shanghai ranking is the best uh, known uh, ranking system worldwide. We have around 10 ranking systems, but mm -hmm. Shanghai is the best one. Absolutely right. Doctor, let me ask you, tell me a bit, a bit uh, you know, about some of the types of universities uh, that we have here in Egypt and how are they uh, graded when it comes to the ranking system? Well, uh, uh, they are uh, trying to develop the uh, evaluation uh, uh, key points that depend on uh, each system. Mm -hmm. And for example, the Shanghai uh, system uh, depend on 10% uh, uh, of uh, uh, the uh, evaluation criteria are the number of uh, university graduates that uh, uh, have got Nobel Prize. Mm -hmm. And also 20% depends on the number of the university staff that have got the Nobel also bright. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, about 20% of uh, the uh, degrees uh, depend on the number of uh, scientists uh, uh, working in the universities that have high quality citations in the Clarivet ranking system. Mm -hmm. And lastly, uh, the number of uh, publications that are uh, produced by the university and the individual academic uh, efforts of each one working in the university. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Now, Dr. Hussein, a very important issue of, you know, digital transformation uh, as now it is becoming a top priority really all over the world. Uh, what are some of the most important disciplines added to university studies in order to accommodate this, Doctor? Well, uh, there are, you know, uh, Many efforts, as I told you before, mm -hmm. uh, but it includes also the uh, technical uh, uh, support of the, of the uh, Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research, mm -hmm. uh, also doing workshops on international, how to do international publications, uh, support of uh, paying the uh, fees, the publication fees that are needed now by the high-ranking journals, and usually the uh, amount, uh, usually the average amount of uh, 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 application fees around 2,000 US dollars. Also having a collaboration with the uh, Egyptian uh, Knowledge Bank mm -hmm. and so on. These mm -hmm. all are uh, uh, the efforts that could be uh, help them. Absolutely. Now, Doctor, of course, the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research has been uh, interested in university centers for uh, professional development. How do you see this as a very important step to serve, you know, the labor market as well as prepare graduates for the workforce? Well, uh, there must be a collaboration and mm -hmm. integration between the working, uh, the end users, uh, the working force and also the graduates of the university mm -hmm. and uh, this integration uh, will help for sure 
to uh, why uh, to uh, uh, decrease the uh, distrust gap that are present between the scientists and the uh, businessmen, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 doing such uh, you know meetings and workshops and and uh, uh, exhibitions will help uh, in uh, decreasing this gap. Absolutely right. On that note, I'd like to thank you very, very much, Dr. Hussein Khaled, the former Minister of Higher Education. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your time.